Hey mga kamapoyas, I am here to help you understand your module in Math 10. This video will help you understand the basic of consumer health. All of us are consumers. We acquire health information, purchase health products, and avail health services to appraise, improve, and maintain our health. But how can we ensure safety from these services offered to us? After going through this module, you are expected to differentiate reliable from unreliable health information, products, and services. A special thanks to the Division of Opinion for the EDM and this is Teacher Eugene, your discussant from the Ranti National High School Division of Eastern Samar. Welcome to the home of Mapinians, Kamapalya TV. Pupunta sana ako sa pharmacia para bumitin ng make-up na gagamitin ko para sa paghahanda sa mga rapid na next universe pageant. Eventually, Hi Rabia, gusto mo pang pamili ng health drinks? Ito ay makakatuwa lang sa isang tao na makadetect ng kanyang temperatura at pressure. Kulit mo to at makuha natin muli ang Corona sa Miss Universe. Wow! Oo nga no, Michelle. Salamat sa inyong supportahan. Magkano ba to? 600 pesos lang yan, Rabia. The next day... Oh no! What happened to my fingers? Bakit may mga rashes ako? My gosh! A few moments later... Did you experience the same problem of Rebea? What did you do? Why do you think this happened to somebody? Finish this video so you can find the answer and understand well your lesson. There are misleading health information because there are people who are careless about the welfare of others and care only about their own. They are the source of unreliable health information that somehow unsafe and are not to be trusted. Some sources of health information include medical personnel such as doctors and nurses, government and private organizations on medical and health information are reliable source of information for health and products and services. They are the one home to be trusted and verified. For you to know more about the basics of consumer health, let us try to unlock the following terms. Health information, health products, and health services, and consumer health. Try to identify the correct term that corresponds or matches to the description or statement above. Number one, these are the items that we consume to improve our well-being, like medicine, food, clothes, furniture, electronics, etc. Which of the following terms is being referred to? Is it health information, health products, health services, or consumer health? The correct answer is health products. These products may be purchased from various places like pharmacies, supermarkets, hospitals, etc. For two, these are programs we avail from various providers such as physicians, nurses, therapists, health workers, hospitals, clinics, and the environment. Which of this term match the statement mentioned? Yes, it is health services. Health services are often connected to health care. They are usually offered by health care providers. They are trained professionals who provide people with health care. Number three, it is any idea that we hear from people around us read books and other printed materials or from the media that influence our health. Which of these terms best describes the statement? Health information. 
health information plays a big role in the life of individuals. It is the information that people require to make wise choices and decisions about their health or the health of others. Ito ang kailangan mo anawaan ng bawat sino man na hindi matulad anong nangyari kay Rabia tulad kanina. There is a great need to update oneself regarding current research and evidence and the field. Remember, health is wealth. Our true wealth is our health. So wag basta-basta maniniwala sa mga inaalok sa atin. This type of information varies depending on the disease, sexual health, weight loss or gain, drugs or alcohol, depression, and mental illness, and so on. We just need to evaluate health information if it is reliable or not. By carefully evaluating the origin and purpose, the companies or organizations the product being advertised. Let us examine yourself how responsible you are as a consumer. Stop or go. With this activity, respond to each of the statements below with stop or go. Stop if you do not believe to the statement, then go if you believe it. Am I clear? Sir, yes, sir! Number one, at least met, feast on fish instead. Number two, starving yourself can be effective for weight loss. Uh -oh. Stop. Number three, avoid processed junk food. Eat real food instead. Go. Number four, coffee can stand childhood development. Stop. Number five, eat be eating before big time makes you overweight. Uh -oh. Stop. Number six, left heavy things. Go. Number seven, take care of your relationship. Go. Number eight, avoid bright light before sleep. Go. Number nine, minimize your sugar intake. Go. And number ten, deodorant can cause breast cancer. Uh oh. Stop. All right, how did you find the activity? Did you have fun? Consumer health deals with the decisions people make regarding the purchase and the use of available products and health services that will have a direct effect on their health. Consumer health has three components which includes health information, health products, and health services. Health information is everything that is seen, read, are heard in relation to human and community health. We can get information from TV, radio, newspapers, and magazines, even the internet. A consumer may obtain knowledge from these resources. However, they need to make sure if it is reliable. Health products are substances, materials, or equipment prepared and manufactured for consumer purchase and used in the treatment, care, and maintenance of health. And health services are those activities or information or works fairness are supplied to help satisfy the needs or wants of the consumers. Tips on becoming a wise health consumers. Number one, reading the package level. Package level provides some facts that you need and also distinguishes the advantages and disadvantages. 
the following you need to check from the packages are number one name of the product then the kind of health product the quantity or amount the ingredients or the composition of the product direction for use precautions before use and the price of the product of course Second is advertising. Advertising is recommending or praising or something that calls for the attention of the public. One practical use of advertising is for the consumers to be aware of the different kinds of new products and services. Another goal of advertising is to convince you to switch you to a new product and remember that not all advertisement is directed towards selling. That is why we need to utilize this information to become a wise health consumer. Health professionals are the one who are engaged to provide solution to anyone who have health problems. They also provide indirect services such as health, education, and advocacy. This refers to medical specialists dental specialists, nurses, and mental professionals. Healthcare facilities are hospitals, barangay health centers, primary healthcare centers, private clinic maternity centers, and other that provides basic health services. Healthcare facilities are categorized into three levels. Primary level is the first contact between the people and the higher levels of health facility. Examples of this are Barangay Health Stations and Rural Health Units. Secondary level, this consists of the checked healthcare institutions that have 50 to 100 bed capacities and are considered referral centers for the primary level facilities. Tertiary level, these are specialized healthcare facility that has a capacity of providing medical care to cases requiring diagnosis, therapeutic, and state-of-the-art treatment and has a capacity of 100 and above. Example of this are medical centers and regional or provincial hospitals. What is Quackery. Quackery is the promotion of a false or unproven method for profit. And quackery occurs when health care is administered by unlicensed health care providers. Promises of cures are made about products that are actually useless. Self-proclaimed therapeutic procedures are performed before they are scientifically validated. Victims of quackery think that they have made the right choice. Often, they have the following attitudes. Number one, being gullible. They tend to believe actually something that is broadcast without verifying the truthfulness of the particular service. Next is being desperate. They are facing an incurable health condition and believing this is their last solution. And being isolated, they become attracted to take unconventional method because they distrust medical science. Next is belief of the supernatural and overconfident. They firmly believe that they are more knowledgeable and skilled to scientifically researchers or experts. To test how you have comprehended this module, complete the paragraph by writing the correct answers on the blog. Consumer health education is the process of assisting you to acquire knowledge and understanding so that you will be able to make wise decisions about certain health items. Consumer health has three components, health information, health products, and health services. Health information is the data and the facts you get from media and people including the professionals and agencies. 
Health products are items that we consume to improve our well-being, like medicines, food, clothes, furniture, etc. Dress products may be purchased from various places like pharmacies, supermarkets, and etc. People acquire health information and products from various sources like media, people, and even technology. It is important to identify the reliability of these sources. Reliable sources of health information and products are licensed professionals who took up specialized and intensive studies in the field. We can also find reliable health information from health books and accredited online. Otherwise, they can be unreliable health information products and services. People also avail of various health services from different providers. Health services are actions, procedures, and programs we avail from various providers such as physicians, nurse, therapists, and health workers. Answer called the best answer. Which of the following is not a healthcare provider? A. Doctors B. Superintendent C. Administrative staff D. Technologists and technicians Number two, the individuals who are licensed to practice medicines and other allied health programs are A. Technologists B. Healthcare workers C. Physicians D. Nurses Number three, the study of products and services that have an effect on health and decisions on how to spend time and money. A. Consumer health. B. Consumer education. C. Consumer health education. D. Health education. Number four, these are concepts, steps, are advices that, that various sources give to give to aid the health status of an individual. A healthcare, B health information, C health services, D health products. Number five, these are actions, procedures, and programs we avail from various providers to appraise the health conditions of individuals through screening and examination, cure and treat disorders, provide safety and emergency care. A. Health services B. Health professionals C. Health facilities D. Health insurance Number 6. It is an institution where people undergo medical diagnosis, care, and treatment. A. Market B. Malls C. Hospital D. School Number 7. These are items like medicines, food, and clothes that we consume to improve our well-being. A. Health products B. Services C. Health information D. Commodity Number 8. Which source is perceived to provide the most reliable health information? A. Quack doctor B. Physician C. Facebook D. Advertisement Number 9. What do you call with a person who gives product information but not an expert in the specific field? A. Reliable B. Unreliable C. Fraud D. Expert Number 10. Which of the following statements is scientifically true and proven? A. Deodorant can cause cancer. B. Coffee can stand childhood development. C. Starving yourself can be effective for loss or wet. For loss wet. 
D. Avoid fast junk food. Eat real food instead. Eleven. Which is not a component of consumer health? A. Health insurance. B. Health information. C. Health product. D. Health services. Number 12. Health services are actions and programs to appraise the health condition of individual. Which of the following is not an example of this? A. Screening and examinations. B. Cure and treat disorders. C. Spread the diseases. D. Emergency care. Number 13. This individual is healthcare practitioner who specializes on problems of the teeth. A. Cardiologist. B. Neurologist. C. Ophthalmologist. D. Dentist. Number 14. A kind of hospital that is being run by the state and the treatment fees are subsidized. A. Private hospital. B. Government or public hospital. C. Voluntary hospital. D. Teaching hospital. Fifteen, it is a financial agreement between an insurance company and an individual or group for the payment of health care costs. A. Health insurance. B. Health protection. C. Health plan. D. Health coverage. Alright, kumusta ka mapal? Yes. Were you able to learn from this module? Sir, yes, sir! Yes, then let's do the sex bomb club. One, two, three, one, two, three. Get, get, get out. Thank you so much and happy learning, everyone. Make a love shout out to the following. Carol Black Turkey, Les Dervais Black, Familia Feliz Blacks, Zinky at the Har, J Toilet 23, Andre Rodell, and Kent Quizel. Please support them also by subscribing to their channel, which is on the description below. Thank you.